when I was born, <laughs> my mother took me to the synagogue. So when we were in Spat yesterday, it was very memorable for both me and my sister. Both our great grandparents were Rabbi and Rabbitson in the very old synagogue that unfortunately we couldn't find in Spat. Anyway, their daughter, who was my who is my grandmother, her name was Celia. And I think it was her sister, but her middle name was Genta. Anyway, so when I had to get a Hebrew name, and my name is Melinda Jane Pahoff at the time, my mother said to the rabbi of the synagogue, well, what shall we call her? And he said, well, her name's Melinda Jane. We'll call her Yenta. <laughs> And that was my name until, thank goodness, for my teacher at school, because I went off to school with my lunchbox in my bag and I walked merrily into school, happy as anything, and my teacher said, my Hebrew teacher said to me, what is your Hebrew name? And when I said, it's Yenta, she said she's not living with that for the rest of her life. So thank goodness for the Hebrew teacher, she changed my name to Miriam. So today, when we were on the beautiful mountain of Masada, and everybody, like people were given a beautiful Hebrew name, I thought to myself, here's my opportunity to actually make my name official. <laughs> so that was it. I had to do it. So now I'm Miriam officially on Masada Mountain. And that's my story. <laughs>